Hi. So uh, Jakob from the Polish team had a bit of trouble uh, using the, the glossary, so I decided I would uh, make a short tutorial to show you uh, what I expect from you uh, with this. So the first thing that I have done for this is I have um, I've created a file in which I put all the words that I think uh, students need help with. Um, so what I've done is I've watched all the videos and uh, while watching the videos, I was adding words here to, um, to this file, this simple text file. And you can see that here is the course code for uh, the, the, fourth, the first step of the fourth recipe of uh, the French course. So here I have all my words and then what I do is I uh, open the Dropbox. I open so I just open this new file. I go to my Dropbox. Um, you're probably not going to see all these courses, but we're going to it using translation. And I'm going to open the French glossary. You can see that there are there's a glossary for each language, and then there's a master file. You should not touch the master file. It's uh, only for me to do, but uh, I will explain uh, how this works late, later. So it opens my file and it tells me that uh, I should have sent it a while ago. Bad, Fabrice, bad. Um, so the, um, this file has two main parts to use database and administrate database. Uh, I use database is pretty obvious. Uh, I'm not going to spend too much time. Um, what I want you to, what I want to show you is uh, uh, this feature. Add a new word. Um, gonna click on this, and it opens a um, new uh, pop-up screen, in which I can enter a word or expression or sentence. And then I need to specify a few things about it. Then specify the translation, maybe a few comments, add a link if I need to, and then click on create. Uh, so. A few more things. Um, if I start typing here, uh, for example, uh, it shows me it auto completes and it shows me uh, the words that I've already entered. Uh, I can also open this and here see all the words that I've already entered and that are waiting for translation or are going to be translated. Uh, then we ask you to specify the course and the step that this word belongs to. Um, why this? Because then we uh, we will be able to export or to print uh, or even to use this to create exercises. Uh, we can only see all the verbs for uh, all the words that uh, need a translation for this special step or for this special course. Uh, we also ask you to specify type and kind. Um, type is, uh, is it a noun or an adjective or an adverb or a name? This is very useful for the translation, for the translator, to, because in, especially in English, for example, uh, two words might look alike, but one might be a, a verb and one might be an adjective. And then we ask you to specify the kind. Uh, so is it a full sentence or is it an ingredient or uh, etc. If you don't know, it's just file it under armor. Uh, these are very loose categories. Um, anything will, will fit in. Uh, for example, a finger or hand is a tool. Um, uh, technique, uh, anything, basically anything that's a verb is going to end up in the technique part, even if it's not really cooking, proper cooking technique. If it's a verb, it's probably going to end up there. And same for ingredients. Uh, um, even a dish that's already cooked is an ingredient. Anything that you can eat, file is under ingredient. So uh, for uh, the basic thing that we ask you to do is add the translation in English. So that it's the common language for the project and this is what we need. Um, if you're not sure about your English translation though, uh, you can take this box and um, through a special process it will be sent to the 
Scottish partner, not English, uh, to the Scottish partner for a verification before it is sent to the other partners. But in this case, I know that ABC means uh, to roll out. So I'm just going to add this. Um, if if I need, I can add a link. So this can be to a Wikipedia page, to a dictionary, or even just a picture um, for the ingredients or the tools, for example. Sometimes it's difficult to find the, the right translation. So do not hesitate to put a link here or even special information that you want, some things that you want to tell the translators, uh, specifications, uh, how it was used or what is it to do. Once you're done, once you're done specifying all your courses, uh, this is for the French course and this is step, this is for step two. ABC is a verb and it's a technique since it's a verb. Okay, so this is the basic thing. If you know the translation for German or Polish, you can specify it, but it doesn't really matter. Once you're done, you just hit the create button. I'm not going to do this because I've already entered uh, ABC. And then we'll add the, the word to the glossary. So that's it. Next, I'm going to show you uh, what this button does, and I'm going to explain a little more about the sendus file and etc.